Hey everybody, welcome back to Supercard. I'm hoping this it works a little bit better today, the air server thing. We can see my King of the Ring has finished. Um, it was all bots. I didn't need the victory or the survivor card or any of that. So we're going to get a brand new WrestleMania card. I am hoping for the Pro Diva. Hopefully we can finally get it. So let's see what we get. It's a... <gasps> oh my god. No way. I'm going to have to screenshot that. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> screenshot that. i got to send that to the guys in uh, my Twitter group. This is insane. I have a Diva Pro, so I am definitely not starting another King of the Ring until... Um, I have made that a pro, so let's actually put her in right away. Uh, s what the hell? Swap. Okay. So now we've... Oh, this is so cool. I've got a pro diva. I didn't actually think I was going to get one. Um, yeah, let's just uh, get through a couple of games on here. Um, I haven't really been able to... I'm more behind than I should be at this point. Uh, for Road to Glory, usually by now I'm really close to being done on the, the WrestleMania card. But uh, I went out last night around... I started walking like... I think like... 7.15. So I played a whole bunch of bouts. Walked from my house to a friend's house. Took me about 45 minutes to walk to my friend's house. Because we were going to go to the bar. We were going to watch the uh, the Toronto Raptors game. And so we're going to go to the bar for that. So I had to walk over to his house because we can't drive because we were going to drink and stuff like that. So walk over to his place, get there close to 8 o'clock, head over to the bar where we get there at like 8.30. So that's like all time that I haven't been playing. And, you know, all that's happening. You know, go to watch the games, stuff like that. And I ended up staying out a lot later than I wanted to because I ran into other friends when I was at the bar and so then we all you know once the bar closed we all went out to another friend's house so we could you know carry on having a couple drinks whatnot and I ended up like just sitting in a park f uh, in a park field at like three o'clock in the morning with one of my friends just talking about like life and stuff like that and jobs and work so that's pretty much and so it had been like eight hours of not playing this and so when I got home at like 3 30 I just was not in the mood to play this game at all just because you know I'd been drinking the lights you know hurt my eyes and what have you all that kind of stuff so I just kind of just passed out right away at like 3 30 and I didn't wake up until 1 30 today and I had to go to work for three and but it was a relatively slow day today so I was able to like play a decent amount at work I haven't been buying bouts or anything just because I'm taking it slow I, I don't see a point in trying to get the AJ and making well maybe I can make this AJ a pro before I start my next uh, King of the Ring just because like I'm gonna be working on this Trish now and Trish you know divas usually do end up taking a while and Oh, this is perfect. I can play on my phone while having a glass of milk and doing this. I can go through everything a lot more smoother, and I shouldn't have used the big E. For oh, I won anyways. I thought my charisma was, like, really low on big E. And we had, like, a brief moment of lag. But I've been trying to download other, like, things to mirror to my computer and stuff because like this you know is acting up a lot either it works great or it's freezing on me and I've been trying other ones I just can't get I just can't get it to figure itself out but I don't know like I've got three days left on a trial on this and I don't know if I want to end up buying it if it's just going to be so iffy all the time but maybe I have figured it out now and it just takes some getting used to and that kind of stuff because this is a great 
service how this is. I can do everything on my phone. This moves r so smoothly. Unless, you know, it works perfectly the first day, so people don't, we're just like, oh my god, like, I need to buy this right away. So that they end up buying it, you know, saying, screw the trial, I want it right away, and then that's when it starts, you know, messing up, is after that. But, um, it, it does seem to be working quite well right now, and I'm just, I'm just so excited from getting that Trish, like, you have no clue, like, how much I'm freaking out <laughs> about that, so, oh, I did, I honestly did not expect that, that's, that, that is, that's just great, um, I, I thought I would have ended up getting, like, a Rusev or something, I just had a feeling I was gonna have something that was gonna make a pro, but I didn't think it was gonna be a good pro, um, and she's a left arrow as well, so it works out perfectly with my Road to Glory deck, works out nicely with my King of the Ring deck as well, so, as soon as I make the pro of this, I should be able to, you know, just stomp on people for a little bit in King of the Rings now that I can maybe work up, get another couple pros, but, man, I'm so great it's Trish Stratus, as, as a new Canadian myself, and speaking of Canada, uh, I came out today that Survivor Series for this year, so November, is going to be in Toronto, like where I live. And the last time I went to a pay-per-view was Unforgiven 2006, and that's the one where John Cena beat Edge in a TLC match for the WWE title when Edge was the champion. The last time I believe Canada had a pay-per-view was 2009. And I think that was that breaking point one, you know, it was just the one-off or whatever. So, it's about time Canada finally gets a pay-per-view back. I wish it was a WrestleMania, because we haven't had one since uh, WrestleMania 18. Um, but we're getting Survivor Series, so I'm excited about that. I'm definitely going. I'm trying to get a guy I work with to come with me because he's always he's always just so negative when it comes to this stuff. It's like he likes watching it, and I'll be like, "Hey, we got a house show coming up. Do you want to go to that?" He'd be like, "Ah, if it's not Raw or a pay per view, I don't want to go because nothing's gonna happen." I'm like, "Ah, oh, okay." text him today hey survivor series is going to be here he goes man it's not the same as how it was 20 years ago it's not the same show i'm like Ugh. like stop being such a negative dick just come with me to go watch this but i've got a few other friends that would probably like to go to it i got one friend who he's kind of getting into wrestling because of how much me and this other guy at work talk about it so he's following some of the stories he understands what's happening and like the Sundays I'm not at work I go in to work bring my laptop and we watch the pay-per-views there in between when they're not busy and stuff so he's getting like an idea of what's going on and there is a house show coming up in July I think and he he wanted to go to that because he's never seen wrestling live and going live just going live to wrestling is it's just one of the coolest things like it's so everything is so cool about a live show so I'll see if I can drag my friend out to the house show if he enjoys the house show I'm sure he'd love to go to a pay-per-view to see a big extravagant set and I'm just I'm I'm just so excited for Survivor Series now the last and the last time Canada had the Survivor Series pay-per-view uh, was 1997 in Montreal and we all know what happened there <laughs> so I'm sure they're going to do a screw job finish because this is the first time we've had Survivor Series since then like there there's no way they can't not that they they can resist making a, a screw job reference in the pay-per-view so I don't know maybe I can be part of history or something by seeing this but um uh, but I'm very excited. Sure, it's still a whole a whole ways away. Maybe I can ask for that to be like my Christmas present or something from my parents. Be like, hey, like you know, buy me good seats for Survivor Series. You can see me on camera, that kind of stuff. Because I I've always wanted to be like pretty much front row 
for a WWE event. I was years ago at a house show, and I remember the main event was Shane McMahon going against Kane in a steel cage match. That tells you how long ago that show was. The, the fact Shane McMahon was on the house show circuit, and he was doing steel cage matches against Kane. Like, that's... Man, that was so long ago. I remember Goldberg was there, and Chris Jericho. Uh, I think Test was there as well. Like, man, that was so long ago, but but I still remember it. That's the kind of impact a house show has. So anyways, very eventful King of the Ring rewards. I couldn't be any happier with that. That's going to be it for today. Thank you all for watching. Please take care. Come on, stop recording.